Are we bunch thanks for tuning in? I hope you're all doing good. Look at this for a view. Don't know, it's like misty afternoons. Well, as you can see. Can you see that? I don't know. I think you can see it. <laughs> I'm in a good mood, right? Because I did fix my bike. It's completely stealthy. It rides like a dream. But I'm hungover, guys. Let me just sit down. It's really misty, atmospheric and nice. And that suits my mood because I'm really hungover. <laughs> you know when you get sick, it's either like go sweat it out and ride hard or chill out, relax, take that extra day to recover. Does that work for hangovers? Like, what should I do? Like, I tried to sweat it out for the last, I don't know, 15 minutes. And, um, well, I mean, I sweated, but it didn't come out. Like, <laughs> but I don't need your sympathy. There's a nice gravel trail there, and I'm going to go batter myself about on that. It's going to be really good for a little, little bit of a headache, right? Gravel. Um, <laughs> so it is actually the last day of the summer holidays. And for, like... I don't know, however many years, like 20 or more years, that's meant nothing to me. But since becoming a dad, the summer holidays are knackering. Really fun, but proper tiring. So my daughter does actually start school this week, so we'll have loads more time. And I'm essentially celebrating my last day of the summer holiday, and, and I'm gonna cure my hangover with a nice gravel ride. What better way is there to cure a hangover than with a gravel ride, uh, maybe a fry up and, and another beer? I mean, maybe we'll do that. No, I can't, I can't stomach a fry up, generally not. Um, <laughs> Sorry, a moment of realisation there. Welcome to today's hangover ride. And also, I've already said this, but my bike is oh, so silent. I love it. Let's crack on, go do some gravel and go do some gravel. I can barely speak. I'm going to apologise in advance for, for the wording. I can't even get the words out. I might fumble a little bit today. You're just going to have to bear with me. I'm going to be like even less understandable than normal. Anyway, let's crack on. Go ride some gravel. Everyone can understand gravel, right? Feel a bit sensitive for mud. <laughs> It'll be okay. So many good trails around there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it today. I feel rubbish, but I'm loving it. So I think if you do have a hangover, I mean, obviously a gravel ride is the cure for it. Honestly though, if you realised how much energy it took me to muster just to say that sentence, I've got such a sore throat. I think I talk too much. Would you believe it? Would you believe that I talk too much? Anyway, let's crack on. This looks fun and kind of brutal. I actually found a bit of mud as well. See, I'm like sweating out and getting mud out of, I can't even talk guys. <sighs> I'd argue that a gravel ride is probably one of the best ways to get rid of a hangover. And also it's healthy, right? Cause you could just go and have a fry up. I think I've done enough riding to reward myself with a little cake or some little treat somewhere. Why am I actually riding on this rocky bit when there's a really smooth bit next to me? Oh, I think we should go and find something nice to drink. Something nice to eat. Look at these cows, by the way. Such a good color. I figured I'd stop and show you. You all needed to see that. Rides like this are exactly why I like gravel rides, you know? It's just so much fun. Like, whether you're riding around like really fast, like doing all this techie, like fun gravel stuff, or you're just having a chill, it's just nice. It's nice just to have nothing to worry about, you know? I mean, you get the occasional like pheasant or like pony, but you know, I can deal with that. I was running up this hill and then I saw this unmetalled road, really steep, really gnarly, and then a nice chilled one. I have to go that way, right? Like, which would you pick? 
I think I always pick the harder option, you know. <laughs> what do you guys think of daily vlogs? Like, is that a good thing, bad thing? Is it too much? Like, would would you watch them? Would you not watch them? Like, I don't know. Let me know. I wasn't going to do them, like, forever. But honestly, it's quite a good way, I think, to build your channel up. I'm totally, totally putting off this really steep climb. Look at it. I'll reward myself after, if there's anything up there, apart from another road. I just want a cake. How good, actually, like, is it? I've just ridden around and taken on all these awesome lanes, like, proper nice here. Oh my God. Wow. That was steep. My bike is so quiet, I'm really happy. I'm so stoked. Do you know what I did realize though? My phone's barely got any battery on it. And I've got no cards or money with me. So yeah, about that cake and that coffee. <sighs> Honestly though, not really if I still get a cake or not. It's been a really nice ride. And I think like there's been like 80% gravel, which is proper awesome. I did end up doing like a loop, and like kind of a figure of eight but I didn't hit the same trail twice, so it was really nice. This is definitely a ride for future, you know? I don't really do the same ride twice. I just meander about, you know? I'm like a free spirit. I mean, I don't know if that's what a free spirit does, but in my head. You know what? I spent most of that ride moaning, I think, about having a hangover. And I've just got home and I've had a bit of food. I've cleaned my bike. I feel great, <laughs> genuinely. This is one thing I'm gonna change up though. I've rode my gravel bike today. So in my next vlog, I will not be riding my gravel bike. Might be my uh, track bike again. Really enjoyed that. You guys let me know down below. What bike should I ride in my next vlog? Thanks for watching. Leave me hangover tips down below. Mine to you is get out and ride and get stung by loads of stinging nettles and just enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you all very soon. Bye.